Hey Drew Barrymore, um, Adam Sandler and Lucy Liu. I wanted to talk about an article. Oh wow, it's a, it went dark. I wanted to talk about an article. I need to get some light. I wanted to talk about an article that you did talking about napping and basically um, as a person who spends his entire time not working, having accumulated enough resources to live without working, most of what I do all the time is just basically sleep all day. It's one o'clock right now and I'm going to stay up until maybe eight o'clock in the morning till 8, 8, 8 a.m. And then I'm going to go to bed and then I'm going to wake up around 10 p.m. and I'm sleeping and I'm sleeping. So, you know, a lot of that has to do with certain pills, sleeping pills I take. But I understood what Drew Barrymore was talking about when she said, oh man, the sex, the unsexiest thing is like, you're this woman, you're with this guy. And, you know, you spend time sleeping with the guy or you spend time you know, having a relationship, but then that person crashes and then just naps all the time and spends all day in that relationship going to sleep. And I thought that's going to be something that I know I will have problems with in the sense that whatever woman that I'm with, I'm going to be like, oh, let me just go to sleep because I'll get tired as hell and there's no energy. So I would, I understand what Drew Barrymore is going through, and, she, and everybody's like, oh my god, what's wrong with Drew Barrymore? And she's saying napping is unsexy, and she's kind of complaining for nothing. You know, it makes sense, so, you know, I, as a person who spends his time sleeping all the time, I love the rest I get, but I hate that I'm not up for life. I hate that I'm not up for the life and the joy of being up and uh, older, you know, and... Uh, as I'm, I'm 37 right now, and usually what, what this what this what this video is about, which you can cut around, um, this video is a pitch for Drew Barrymore, Adam Sandler, and Lucy Liu, and it's a movie called Younger in Bed. It's going to be a really big hit. Um, it comes from an original idea for me, maybe semi-original. It's a little bit Benjamin Button, which I realized, like, oh, Benjamin Button kind of did this. But uh, ultimately, here's the real pitch. A woman, Drew Barrymore's character, I haven't come up with any names yet, so this is, gonna, this is something ongoing. A woman uh, is with a guy, and she kind of, you know, they, they never really got married. She's older. She's been kind of not wanting to be alone, so she's with this guy for a while. They kind of have a good thing going. But basically what happens is after basically after they have sex and after they're together, he just kind of tunes out of life now. His dad is old and that's going to play a part in this movie. He's kind of old and dying and he's, he kind of wants to get through his days. So he sleeps all the time and she kind of is nagging him, being a pain, laughing at him, you know, dealing with him because she's falling in love with him. But she's not really thinking we're going to get married or anything like that. It's just, you know, it's a sex relationship. It's a friend relationship. I don't want to be alone. He starts looking at other women on his phone. It's very funny. We don't know whether these characters will be married or not married. Depends. Have been married or are married. But anyway, so he sleeps all the time. So what she decides to do, just randomly, they go, she tells her story to someone, which is the Lucy Lou. And of course, because Lucy Lou is Asian, we always involve a little bit of the, the, the supernatural the Asian mythology, she gets them a new bed, and they sleep in the bed, and when they wake up, they're young, not young, like, you know, 20 years old or 14 years old, they just look younger, like Indiana Jones did in Dial of Destiny, their, 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 their whole complexion is younger, the way that I would look younger, they're looking younger, like Drew Barrymore is less aged, Adam Sandler's less aged, and they just think, oh my god, it must be the sleep, and it must be the the cream we're using, and then it, they suddenly realize they're getting even more younger, and it's great. They're getting younger, they're going out together, they're taking trips, they're living life to the fullest. This is going to require them to have a, a lot of energy as the actors if they don't put young people with the digital face. They're going to have to get young, so they're going to they're going to go out, they're going to enjoy their life, they're going to be young, and they're they're not living old anymore. They're living it young. And they're having fun, and they're a better relationship. 
And it's just funnier. It's funnier how they deal with their co-workers who are like, damn, you guys look so young. Are you really, what are you even using? And people are inquiring. And it's not a big, larger than life. It's a lot like Groundhog Day. It's a premise. So they're getting younger, younger. But what they don't realize is the more they sleep in this bed, eventually they're going to end up becoming too young. They're going to become way too young. They're going to end up going back to babies. And the woman is going to take them as babies. And she's getting them to sign over their property and all their possessions and the house and everything that's invaluable to them. Since people will think they just disappeared and it will go to them. They'll think they'll be declared dead. And their stuff will go. They will, no, no one will be able to find them. So their valuable, their properties will go over to Lucy Lou. And... We wonder whether she's going to kill the babies, which she, she says she will, but she probably won't. She'll put them up for adoption. But they, they, it doesn't get to that point. It's a comedy. It's fun. We get to see the visual effects that made Indiana Jones. You look young with all the old photos of Drew Barrymore, who was beautiful in the past. She's still beautiful now. Adam Sandler, who's awesome. And he's going to come out and make it funny. And they're basically young. And the, the title of the movie is called Younger in Bed probably come up with a better title, probably come up with more conflict, but it's it's just it's just a fun movie, it's comedy, it's between the two of them, Adam and Drew, and it's taking from what, what Drew was talking about, and then using the money that exists today to make a young film, a fun film, where they're young in bed because of Lucy Liu's character putting the bed and it makes them young as they rest and that rest is making them younger and their faces look younger, they're, they're healthier, they're vibrant, but they're going to get too young and being too young, this villain of the movie will obviously take advantage of them. So they've got to kind of see, ask questions about life, what it means to be young again, what it means to age, his father's aging, he wants to put him in the bed. Does it work for him as he's getting older and dying? All this kind of dramatic stuff. But it's a fun comedy like Click. Um, really funny movie. Adam and Drew will have a lot of sexual situations. It'll be very funny. It'll be a very fun movie. So these are the two actors I want. Drew Barrymore and Adam Sandler and Lucy Liu. Uh, younger in bed, and that's the story. Raniel Martinez coming up with it. I know it's dumb to talk about this. It can get taken and things. But I think ultimately, I want to do the version with Adam Sandler and Drew Barrymore. This is an original premise, I think. It feels kind of like a Buffy episode. It feels like one of those episodes where like, we have to do that episode. We're doing the, the young in bed episode where they buy a bed and they're young. And it's going to be really interesting. And it feels like a Benjamin Button kind of visual effects. So that's it. Thank you, Drew, for your article. Very beautiful, Drew Barrymore and Adam. Very funny. Um... Lucy, very gorgeous. We all love, we all love you actors. We want to make this movie, so make it with me. I'm ready to write it. I'm ready to get a story by credit. Renel Martinez, thank you. This was something, and now I'm going to stay up, have insomnia, and basically not go to bed, which would be awesome if you have someone to share that insomnia with and someone you love and you're young with and growing old with and spending a bed together. That's all. Younger in bed.